Congress failed to perform its role. So in that way, it left the goal, goal post blank. The voters thought that Congress party is bankrupt. It is not in a position to fight elections. If such a message goes down to the voters, which it did, the voters definitely would reject such a party and they did that. And BJP at that point of time was considered as a hand in glove with BJD. So Congress could have emerged as a very strong uh, player. There was no such anxiety or no such mindset within the Congress party to set its house in order. So I thought, why persist in a party which is used to a particular way of working, of pulls and pressures and things like that? Uh, it's better that uh, I quit this race. Friends, we have with us Mr. Vijay Patnaik, one of the most talented retired IS officers of Odisha. And he was a senior leader of the Congress party also. He contested the recent polls. And uh, we would like to discuss with him what is his future plan, what is he planning to do ahead. Sir, you joined Congress in 2023. So what is the reason behind tendering the resignation? I came to Congress party to revive this party. Because Odisha needed a very strong opposition. When I joined Congress party, Odisha needed a very strong opposition. Uh, the two parties which were available and in opposition, BJP and Congress, well, out of them, only Congress was the alternative. Because BJP and BJD were two sides of the same coin, which we have been telling all along. So I joined Congress so that there will be a strong opposition party in uh, Odisha and the misrule of BJD would come to an end. But later on I realized that uh, my services are not required in the Congress party. Uh, if I don't feel wanted in the Congress party, if I feel that my services are no longer required, then uh, it's better that I should quit this party. Sir, if we sum up, politics is all about gesture. So when did you feel, any particular instance, that the Congress party doesn't require you? It's not about a particular incident. You see, why did I con join Congress? I told you that, you know, I joined Congress so that, you know, Congress can be strengthened and uh, can become a very strong opposition party. As we went along, as long as we were opposing the BJD rule, it was fine. In fact, uh, even there I would say that Congress did not take up the issues as aggressively as it should have. The issues which I raised after joining the Congress party were virtually hijacked by the BJP and uh, they really took such an aggressive stand uh, towards the end of the campaign that you know they came back to power. But uh, after the, you know, the immediacy of the election was over, I found that the Congress is not really interested in uh, putting its house in order. How can a party become strong? Only when it takes care of its own organization. Now, to build up the organization, we require painstaking work. It cannot happen just by holding... Uh, Bands and rallies and uh, you know that sort of fanfare. It, it's hard work. It requires taking people into confidence. We have to find out new leadership because uh, the future of Congress should be in the hands of the youth. So special effort needs to be made to find youth all over the state. And I found that there is no such anxiety or no such mindset within the Congress party to set its house in order. So I thought, why persist in a party which is used to a particular way of working, of pulls and pressures and things like that? Uh, it's better that uh, I quit this race. Sir, you joined Congress to set the house in order. And when you feel that uh, there's something is wrong with the party, most of the top leaders are not interested or they are not putting their ideas to improve the party's performance. 
so did you contact the top authorities i mean kharge sahab did you talk to him because you joined in delhi joined the congress in delhi which is during his presence so did you talk to him indeed i met uh, shri khadge ji i went to delhi specifically for this purpose and he was kind enough to grant me an interview i presented a paper to him uh, where i set down the reasons for congress's debacle in 2024 and what congress should do to to revive itself and so that you know in the next election we would come back to power so he went through that paper and um, i would say that he showed a lot of interest in that paper and uh, let's see whether it can be of any use to the party when congress speaks about the odia asmita let uh, leaders from other states are uh, leading the party recently the 14 member steering committee has been headed by dr ajay kumar and ajay kumar is the same person under who is congress witnessed its fall garnered 14 seats to the max but um, sarath parnaik had called the had uh, emphasized that congress will uh, win 90 votes or 90 seats so this is a difference a huge there is a huge difference between the same thing so do you think that ajay kumar should be blamed for the uh, election debacle in the elections or who should to blame mr sarath patnaik for the debacle you see when a party uh, fails at the time of election it is customary for all the major leaders to sit and discuss dr ajay kumar should have taken the trouble of convening such a meeting and taking the views of all the leaders of the party Uh, whether they are part of the steering committee or not in order to find out what went wrong where was the mistake no such effort has been made and therefore i would say that the party is not doing any kind of an introspection it's only trying to paper over the cracks at this rate the party cannot really perform well that's my feeling Sir, if we talk about Ajay Kumar's performance or Sarath Patnaik's performance in the recently concluded election, we see most of the senior leaders are expressing their resentment. They are openly venting their ire against the party line, and uh, they are saying that Sarath Patnaik was hand in glove with Ajay Kumar, and that's why he didn't take any conclusive decision to improve the party, to solidify the party. I would not like to discuss specifically individuals. either dr ajay kumar or mr sharath patnaik uh, they were definitely part of the decision making team but what i would like to point out is that although the number of mla seats uh, has gone up in the assembly from 9 to 14 but the vote share of congress in the state has come down from 16% to 13% and out of all the persons who contested in the Uh, assembly 70% of them lost their deposits similar is the story uh, with regard to the uh, parliament out of the candidates who contested the, for the parliament 70% lost their deposit now how do you call this performance certainly it's a debacle and uh, when it is a debacle then those who are in the decision making uh, circle they have to take the blame for it yeah, they should be so be blamed for the they have to take their uh, share of blame Sir, recently, uh, some people have been sidelined from from the party. A senior worker of the party, Sri Asmita Konda, demonstrated in in front of the party office, and the gates were locked. And several top leaders from the Congress party went to Delhi to raise the issue, but they are not paying heed to it. It seems the Congress top leaders are not interested to strengthen the party base in Odisha. What would you like to say? I felt very sorry that a lady had to sit in dharna uh, in front of uh, the congress office um, and created you know a scene which could have been avoided by the party it requires certain amount of skill in handling such situations because in political affairs these things do happen but then somebody has to step out, step forward and solve the matter when this happened and i was uh, at that time within the congress party and i was observing that uh, you know the party was in dole drums at that point of time there was nobody to take uh, responsibility nobody to to really take any step 
so it was uh, a completely anarchical uh, situation so some vendors those who were assisted the party in the promotion campaign in the elections they also demonstrated in front of the party office congress bhavan they said that lakhs of rupees are still pending they haven't got their dues and uh, sarad parnaik is not picking up his for their phones and so is dr ajay, ajay kumar he- yes i have indeed heard about uh, start discontentment a lot of people were clamoring for their dues a lot of mla candidates were uh, you know going from pillar to post asking for financial aid um well the congress party was short of funds no doubt about that but then something should have been done to prevent this kind of a situation because it sent such a bad signal to the electorate because the, the voters thought that congress party is bankrupt it is not in a position to fight elections and uh, there is no point in voting for a party which doesn't have the minimum wherewithal to fight an election if such a message goes down to the voters which it did the voters definitely would reject such a party and they did that otherwise 2024 was an excellent opportunity for congress to come back to power the the circumstances uh, were so favorable because people were uh, against uh, the misrule of bjd there was tremendous amount of uh, anti incumbency and bjp at that point of time was considered as a hand in glove with bjd so uh, congress could have emerged as a very strong uh, player in the game but i am afraid the congress just abdicated congress is uh, considered as the grand old party of the country and uh, if we see the recent uh, performance congress was alleging that uh, both bjd and bjp were in connivance they were in hand in hand in gloves but it seems right now congress has surrendered itself to the ruling party and the opposition as the opposition congress is spineless i would not use the words that congress surrendered to bjd or bjp what i would say that congress failed to perform its role so in that way it left the gold goal post blank in congress opportunities galore but the development is just poor bijay kumar das sochana tv 24 into 7 bhavanishwar